Let's add some space. That's right, I'm gonna be upgrading my Unraid server with a eight terabyte Seagate Exos drive. It's an enterprise class drive. I've covered up all the sensitive details here on the front so you guys you know, don't steal the information off the drive. But anyways, we're gonna be installing it in my Unraid server. We're gonna be upgrading from 36 terabytes all the way up to 44 terabytes of space. Right now I am currently using 25% of my space on the entire server array. So I'd like to shrink that a little bit by adding this. I have one more slot available on my motherboard to add this drive. So we will do that right now. My server is shut off. I've got my drive here on the concrete very carefully. I need to unplug everything in the back here. Ooh. This son of a bitch, it's heavy. It will be. This server weighs a lot. So we gotta be very careful when we pull it out not to, what the heck was that? Nothing to be concerned about, just a few cables that are loose, falling off the top of it. All right. So, oh, this thing is so heavy. It's my vault though. Oh, did not like that. I'm gonna slowly drop it. There we go. It's on the ground. I'm gonna move out of the way. All right, that was very gentle. All right, so the drive is ready to be slotted into the machine here. I've got to open up the machine now. And I'm gonna take the tape off here. All right, we're gonna open this bad boy up. So here's my MSI 1050 Ti. It's used for Plex encoding and stuff like that. We've got the heat sink, we've got 850 watt power supply. That's not important. What we're looking for today is to add more storage, obviously. So I'm gonna take these fans out here that are in the center of the case. It's the only way to get to the drives, which actually makes this case a lot sturdier by having these in the center here. They easily unscrew. All right, ah, that should come out now. It can be a pain to put it back in though. <laughs> so we already have a SATA data cable and power cable already in here from the last drive that we had in. So we can just slide it in right now, honestly. And I'll do that right now. So it goes in this way. Just like that. Perfect, snap perfectly into place. Come on, I can't see the port that well. There we go, it went in. All right, and then we need to put the data cable in there and then it'll be all done and we can put this baby back together. So yeah, that's it. We have my Intel Network 10G card and then we have all that. We have eight drives, like hard drives in here now. We have a one terabyte NVMe cache drive, which I might add another one terabyte cache drive on top of that to have two of them. I have 64 gigs of ECC RAM. In fact, I gotta dust this thing. It's getting kind of dusty on the inside. It's not terrible. It's just a very, very, very fine dust. And it's not very much, honestly. The filters are doing a good job of keeping most of the bigger chunks out. All right, I am here. The server started up successfully. So now I'm gonna go to main here and see if we have the drive showing up. As you can see, dev one is under unassigned devices. So we need to format it. You can see it is eight terabytes indeed. It is running at 24 degrees Celsius, which is perfect. So I must enable destructive mode in uh, unassigned devices settings before you can format the disk. All right, so that's interesting. Unassigned devices here, da, da, da. enabled, all right, apply, done. All right, let's try doing this again, format. So yes, we're gonna do XFS, that's what I've done for all my other drives too. So we'll do next, and then, yes. All right, format, all right, successful, all right. So now we need to bring the array offline, so we'll stop it here, and we'll proceed. All right, there we go. All right, so uh, disk seven, we will assign it to the Seagate drive. And then that should be all we need to do. We will uh, basically start here. So it looks like it might be clearing it on its own. 
yeah, it's clearing it. So you can see it's at 12.2 uh, gigabytes. So it looks like it's going to take eight hours to clear this. So it, apparently zeroing out the drive is now done automatically in Unraid. I'm pretty sure that's what it's doing here. So yeah, it's going to be a while before the disk is online and ready to go. And hopefully it will find no problems with it. So I bought this disk at my local computer shop. They are the absolute best computer shop within a 100 mile radius of where we live. Um, and they are second to none. I mean, they're great people. And their prices are a little bit high, a little bit higher than on, you know, Amazon or online because they're a small business. They have to stay afloat. But uh, I paid $277 for the drive brand new, which, which is actually not bad because I paid about that price for my six terabyte Western Digital Gold drives back in 2018 when uh, the cost of storage was a little bit higher. So I'm getting a couple more terabytes for pretty much the same price that I paid back then, which I'm totally happy with. And the reason I go with enterprise drives on all my drives is because they just tend to last longer and I think it's worth the investment paying maybe fifty to hundred dollars more to go with an enterprise drive if it'll last two to three times longer than a consumer grade drive I'm totally willing to do that spend the extra money and splurge in a little bit higher end discs you know and all of them do have helium in them from what I'm aware the Parity drive is the only drive that is a Western Digital Red drive that's actually a NAS drive. The rest are all Enterprise class, so like all these here. And then the Seagate's Enterprise as well, except it's called Exos instead of Western Digital Gold. So, All right, so I'm here the next day and we are done setting up the drive. So what it did is it uh, it cleared, it pre-cleared the drive and then it, uh, I had to format it after it was done pre-clearing it, which took maybe five minutes. And now um, we dropped the drive usage, our total array usage from 25 to 21%. And I thought I would show you guys that just to see. I was thinking it'd be a little bit uh, more of a dent, but oh well, 21% is still nicer than nothing. I was thinking that maybe it would drop to like 19 or 18%. So, oh well, that's fine. Um, so I'll show you guys here. If we go to my quantum NAS here, and I add this as a network drive here, or map a network drive, and then we go to this PC, you can see uh, we have 40.9 terabytes uh, total in the array, which is a little bit less than I was expecting. But uh, we're only using uh, 8.48 terabytes, and free space we have 32.4 terabytes free which is plenty enough to last me at least another five to maybe seven years before it's completely filled up. I'm hoping at least. What I do is I go through my files every once in a while and I will purge out files that I don't think I need anymore. And I did that probably about six months ago at this point. So it's probably, it's almost due again for me to do that and go through some stuff and just purge it out. So I'm working on the video here as we speak that's not important. What's important is Unraid. So everything's working perfect. There was not a single error with the disk and we can click on the information here and we can see the drive's only been on for 20 hours so power on hours and uh, power cycle count only one time. So this is a brand new drive um, for my local computer shop and I'm glad it's working perfect. I wasn't sure about it, but uh, it was well worth the investment, so I'm very happy overall. Oh. All right, that's it for this short little video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like or leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy it. Consider pushing the subscribe button down below and turning it gray. And that's it for now, guys. I will have more videos coming out sometime in the near future. We're getting ready to go on vacation here, so I really don't know if I'm going to be able to put out videos for maybe the next couple of few weeks. So it's iffy, you know, but until then, I will see you guys later. Bye for now.